Hey everyone, welcome to the Industry Show. I'm your host Nitin Bajaj, and joining us today is Rick Gerard. Rick, thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me. Our pleasure. On this quick show, Corona Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you. We're not exchanging any viruses. No, not anymore. Okay. Not that we know of. <laughs> Let's hope not. All right, tell us your journey up to this point in in a minute. In a minute. All right. So I was born in. California, and I went to school, and I graduated, and then I went into art school, and then I failed, oh. and then I quit, and then I became a headhunter because I basically knew somebody who had a lot of money, and I wanted to be rich, so that that was my motivation, and I got into it. And um, twenty some years later, I'm still doing it. Still hunting, hunting for heads. I'm a head hunter. Okay. Not like Dog the Bounty Hunter, but like a you know, pretty much the same. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. I don't have a mullet, obviously. <laughs> Other than that, I do have parachute pants. Okay. Yeah. And, <laughs> and shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get a couple of white theater t-shirts. <laughs> so, what is Stride Search? So, what is Stride Search? Stride Search is a engage search firm, and what that means is we actually work with clients at a retain level. Um, we work um, in the operational sense, like where we go in, we define out the culture, we build out the interview questions, we help to um, put together the job descriptions, and then we effectively like lead the search and find the right person for the role. What motivates you to do this? Um, I love it. <clears throat> so I'm a builder. I love to help companies build the, a strong foundation. I love to help companies find great people and and land them into their companies. What are you not good at? Um, at scale, it's like more about critical hires. That's what I'm not good at. Um, I'm not a very good salsa dancer mm. at all. Wish I were, but I'm not. But you have people that do that for you. Um, I, I I'm gonna hire one next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put an ad out, professional salsa dancer, please acquire within. Not to coach, just do the dance. Yeah, just do the dance. Okay. Like, hey, we're having a great day, salsa, you know, like that sort of thing. That'd be fun. Yeah. You can come. I would want to watch that. Okay, me yeah. too. <laughs> Will you split the cost while we'll hire a salsa dancer? No, I'm just going to watch. Okay. <laughs> you got it. What's something that you've learned or is a parallel with uh, jiu-jitsu? Hmm. So jujitsu is to me like there, there's a lot of similarity between jujitsu and what I do from the perspective of <clears throat> jujitsu is kind of like a strategic game where you're trying to think a couple moves ahead mm -hmm. of the other person. So when I'm um, when I'm doing my business, when I'm recruiting people, I'm looking at or I'm always thinking about like what, how does this person fit? How does this person um, How's this person going to benefit from the role if I put them in there? Mm -hmm. And then it's kind of countering whatever issues that come up um, before they become problematic. So I just am always trying to think a couple of moves ahead so mm -hmm. that, and if they are issues, then I can either nip them in the bud really quickly or mm -hmm. I can move on to somebody else. Nice. Yeah. What's the biggest trend in the recruitment space right now? Uh, you know, so I am one of those people, I am completely contrarian to what's going on. So like a lot of people are investing a lot of money into like employer branding and a bunch mm -hmm. of other things. I think frankly, it's a complete waste of money. Um, so I do the opposite of what everybody else is doing because mm -hmm. it works for me. I can see the black guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's not very many recruiters <laughs> that have black eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I try to keep one at least once a week. Yeah. Yeah. It's against the trend. It shows yeah. that I'm tough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I got this from my wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like it, but sure. <laughs> I got this from jujitsu. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll take that. Okay. <laughs> what do you do for fun? <clears throat> what do I do for fun? So I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie. I, um, I like to snowboard. I like mm -hmm. to surf. Um, I love like living dangerously and running down the hallways of my office with scissors, mm -hmm. you know, just stuff like that. I mean, we have the Corona. 
Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to go have a Corona afterwards. Yeah. I'm Just because. You. Yeah. I'm going to join you. I'm not afraid of no Corona. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what kind of a, you know, talking about viruses, what kind of a legacy do you want to leave behind? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of viruses. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that was a great segue, by yeah. the way. <laughs> um, the legacy that I want to leave behind. You know, I want to leave a legacy of, of, of having a process that becomes the new standard of what most um, like really strong recruiters do well. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of on a mission to set the standards a little bit higher to make hiring more deliberate as opposed to transactional. Um, that's it. And if mm -hmm. people if people adopt it and they run with it, I think if a lot of hiring managers and um, executives know that there's a better way to do things that is going to increase their bottom line as opposed to just filling a seat, then they're going to demand it. And that would be the legacy I want to live. Or leave for, you know, I want to make the recruiters that are in my profession elevate their level of performance. And do you think Big much vision. better? Yeah, you know, why have small vision? Yeah, go what? Go, go big, big or go, go home. home. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's always been my motto.